Hi folks, so the video today, what we're going to be going over is the area underneath road geometry and sometimes often called geologic geometry. Um, and specifically the area in that, what we're going to be learning about today is what's known as cuts, okay? Uh, in a previous video, we went over uh, roads and what were known as embankments, okay, otherwise known as fills, whereby the road is higher than the land around it in the previous video, and we had to fill up to the road. In this one, the road is lower than the land around it, and what we have to do is we have to cut that land away so that it obviously makes a safe road, that the land isn't too high on either side of the road okay so basically if you can do one like we have done with in the previous video where we practice embankments or fills if you can do one technically you can do the other it's just the opposite way around okay but you still get that like cut profile or fill profile but you just have to understand whether it's cut or fill that you're doing okay so we'll read the first question here and we'll get started so it says here question one the map shows ground contours at 10 meter vertical intervals okay so the first thing we notice is that the contours are 40 50 60 70 and so on 60 downwards and then back up to 60. so there's 10 meters in the difference between them okay and our scale is one is to a thousand so that's very important here so we know it's going to work this out one millimeter and i'm going to put above that os which stands for on sheet is to 1000 millimeters in reality ir okay now we know the distance between our contours is 10 meters so we know 1000 millimeters is one meter so to multiply that to make up 10 meters i need to multiply that by 10 so my magic kind of i need to multiply this by 10 so multiply 1000 by 10 we get 10000 millimeters which we know is equal to 10 meters. Therefore, if I've multiplied that by 10 to make 10, 10 meters there, I also need to multiply one by 10. Therefore, 10 millimeters on my sheet is equal to 10,000 millimeters in reality. So 10 millimeters is equal to 10 meters. Therefore, my magic number that I'm going to use in a while is 10 millimeters, okay? So that's kind of our start point. Um, now, it says here, AB, okay, so AB is the center line of a proposed roadway, which is level at an altitude of 30 meters. So this roadway is going to be level at 30 meters. From A to B, the road is at a level height of 30 meters. And then it says, using side slopes of one in one for cuts, so my cut ratio is one is to one okay and we know basically what that means because 10 millimeters is our magic number that means 10 is to 10 okay so essentially for every um i'm going to be cutting this time okay so i'll use it here to explain in a previous video on embankments where we were filling up to the road where the land was a lot lower than the road in this one you can see this is like kind of like i've taken a profile through the road okay a cross section and here's the road the car will be driving on the road here it's at 30 meters high and we can see the land around it is quite high and it's very very steep the slopes so we obviously don't want rocks and things falling down that's what um kind of these road engineers would be thinking about so they would need to make that slope more gradual so what they're going to do is they're going to cut it okay so if we think here i'm going to measure for every 10 millimeters okay or in this case 10 meters but on our sheet it's 10 millimeters for every 10 i measure out i'm also going to measure up 10 so it's kind of like our 45 degree set square there okay and now as we look down on top of it we cannot see obviously the distance okay the height it's traveling up we can't because we're looking down on top of it here we have a bird's eye view so we can't see that distance going upwards but we can see the distance going outwards okay so that was the 10 up now the next one out okay we're going to add on another 10 so i've got a little block here okay so that's 10 further i've traveled out and another 10 that i've traveled up okay so now i've traveled out another 10 i've gone up another 10 so now i've traveled out 20 and up 20 and i'll put in one more so i'll have another block here this is just guesstimation now based on a sketch and then i've got my other triangle here so once again i've traveled out 10 and now i've gone 10 up 10 up and then finally 10 up so you can see here now we have traveled out 10 
10 and 10 so we've traveled out 30 and we've gone up 30 and what you actually notice is the area that's left that bit there that's the bit that we're removing that's all the land we're removing and we're left with this slope here okay and as you can see that slope is a lot uh, less steep than this slope here okay therefore making the road safe so that's what we're doing we're cutting that section away okay so that's the idea behind us now how that appears on your sheet first of all we have to basically do that okay so at this height here we know the road is at a height of 30 and I know my contours are traveling up in tens and we worked out then that 10 millimeters is our magic number so from that 30 I'm going to use the side here and I'm going to measure up 10 millimeters each time so 10 plus 10 is 20 then I'll mark it on the 30 then I'll mark it on the 40 so that'll be 40 50 60 70 so that's enough there because I can see 70 is my highest one so at that point right there I'm going to project my lines across okay project this one across project this guy across and finally this guy okay so that's my 40 that's my 50 my 60 and my 70 okay so what I need to do now is plot those points where they are on the actual uh, contour lines okay so in this case obviously this one here at that point there that was my 40 right there at this point this would have been my 50 which is here that's to now 20 meters out from the side of the road which is at the 50 this one here okay at this point would be at the 60 which is here which is 30 meters out and so on if I added another one okay so we'll start off uh, by plotting any 30s that we have so if we look at our contours we can see we have one 30 here so that's actually a point right there now I'm going to try and look for any 40s that I have okay so to follow my 40 contour and that's going through my 40 line so I have a point there have I another 40 yes I do I've got one here and have I got any other 40 I can see I have one over here so I've got another point there okay now we look for any 50s so that 50 doesn't go it probably would be somewhere over here but for the purpose of this map that we have i've got a 50 here have any other 50s yep yeah, a 50 here and finally a 50 here and 60s okay so there's a 60 up there 60 and have any other 60 yeah that one's going off the map though once again and finally a 70 and have I any other 70 along it no so there we have it so there you can see your kind of our points so what we're going to do I'd imagine it's going to come down here now I'm not 100% sure because there's no 30 contour there but it is you can see here it's kind of traveling like this okay so what we do is we sketch in that profile so I'll just speed up the video there okay so there we have it guys that there is the um, kind of cut profile as we cut away obviously some of this slope here okay or this surface here and that's what we have now like we have done in previous questions on embankments uh, what we have to do is the next thing is called tadpoling which is basically showing the slope of the road now in this case uh, sorry in the case of a previous video where I did fills often the road was higher than the ladder around or the land around it so basically you put a little ball here and if you imagine it was rolling away from the road now in this case if we were to put a ball here it can't roll away anywhere because obviously the slope is going upwards so now we put the ball for cuts you put it at the top of where the cut is and what that's actually going to do is that's going to be a ball that is going to roll towards the road okay so basically that's showing that the land uh, around it is actually higher than the road and it's rolling down towards the road so it's like a ball that was up here and it is rolling down the hill okay so that's the first question done there guys uh, nice easy question to introduce us to it okay uh, same process that we used in the fields okay the only difference is in this video what we're doing is uh, the tadpoles are going towards the road okay rather than rolling away the road uh, away from the road okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to question two in the top right of the page okay
Right, folks, so for question two here, it says the map shows ground contours at five meter vertical intervals. And once again, our scale is one is to a thousand. Okay, so we can see the distance between our contours, 15 to 20 to 25. We can see the distance between them is five meters. So let's work out kind of our magic number there. So we know scale is one is to a thousand. So one millimeter on our sheet, which is OS, is to 1000 millimeters in reality and we want to work up to five meters so what do I multiply 1000 millimeters to make five meters multiply it by five to make 5000 millimeters which we know is five meters so multiply it by five so that was times five just put that in there really small okay so times five and if I multiply this by five I also must multiply this by five so that means five times one so five millimeters on my sheet is equal to 5,000 millimeters in reality or five meters. So that's kind of my magic number there. Okay, now it says here, ABC is the center line of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 15 meters. So level at 15 meters. And I'm just gonna write that in here as well. Level at 15 meters. Now we can see guys on this one our road obviously kind of has a little kind of sharp turn here okay or I suppose it's more of a gra uh, gradual turn okay it's not a sharp turn but the whole road is still even going from A to B to C a, from A to B it's at 15 meters high and from B to C it's also 15 meters high so it hasn't changed in its height uh, the only difference here is obviously the road is just obviously at an angle here whereas B to C it's obviously kind of going uh, perfectly horizontal whereas here it's obviously inclined at an angle now it says here using side slopes of one in one for the cutting okay so our cut ratio is one is to one which basically means using five that's five millimeters is to five millimeters so our little triangle basically when we're doing our cuts okay i'm not going to do the whole profile of the road this time but when we're doing our cuts what that means is for every five millimeters i travel up in height i'm going to also travel five meters out or five millimeters on our sheet as it is okay so that's it five is kind of our magic number so we'll get that started so i'm going to focus on the length of the road from a to b first okay and i'm going to exclude from b to c okay so that's important there from a to b is the first one we're going to do so we have to do the north side of the road and obviously the south side of the road so this bit up here and this bit down here so what i have to do is i know the road is at 15 meters so i'm going to put a 15 here which is this line here and i've also got a 15 here which is at this line here okay and what i need to do is using a perpendicular line there so you might have to do a little bit of sliding set squares it's not necessarily essential okay you can still be quite accurate with these outside of it but just going to i have my other set square underneath this one now and the only reason I'm doing this is so I can get an accurate reading of measurements. Okay, so I'm just going to put in a line perpendicular like that and perpendicular like that. And I'm going to measure up 5 millimeters in each one. Okay, so if you think that's 15, the next one up is 20. Next one is 25. 30. I can see the highest number I have here is 40. So there's 35. I'll actually continue it on in this case because we know it goes up to 40. So just for that one. Now I could have done it out here. Just happened to be doing it in the middle of my sheet. Measure on another five millimeters. And there we have it. Okay. I'll do the same down here. So I had 25, 30, or sorry, 20, 25, 30, 35, and finally 40. So just made sure I went out far enough. So the distance from here to here is five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll focus on the north side of the road first. From A to B. And I'm going to put in those kind of contours as I need them, or my cut contours in this case. Now I need what's on the sheet. Okay. So in labeling those, if this line here was 15, then this point here, I'm going to call it 20. At this one up here, 
it's 25, 30, 35, and then finally this one is 40 just so I know which is which okay so that's on the 20 25 and so forth I'll do the exact same I'm actually just going to move on and I'm going to do the same below so parallel lines slide and set squares extend that one on so that's my 20 then I've got 25 30, 35, and finally 40. I think that's as much as I'll need. So here is 20, 25, 30, 35, and finally 40. There as well. Okay, so we're going to start plotting our points, and I'm going to start with the north side of the road. So 15 is meeting the 15 contour, that's actually meeting right on the road there. Then the next one is at the 20, which is going to meet here, because my 20 line is here. So it's going to meet there. And we continue plotting the points. Then the 25, which is this guy. Then we have the 30, which is this guy here, because that's the 30 line there. Then I've got the 35. And finally the 40. And then it starts to decrease again, so you can see the 35 contours here. Then we've got the 30 contour. Then we have, just to make sure, yeah, so follow this one. That's the 25 contour. There. And you can see it actually gives us another point right here. And I'll get onto that in a minute. And then the 20 doesn't come up to meet it. So that's as far as we go there. And actually, just for the sake of it, if I was to continue on. Now, this is the point. This is why I wanted to actually do it. You can see here, kind of, we got to the point of the road roughly where B then starts to turn obviously and it goes straight from B to C okay so if I was to continue on this 30 one you can see if I continue that I got it gave me a point here but if I was to continue that on I could also locate a point over here okay so I'll just put it in for now I'm not going to use it and you'll see why in a minute but just to continue it on because just to locate that so that's all of the top half of the road there so I'll put that in very very lightly for now and I'll go to the bottom half and complete that side I'm not going to heavy in any detail yet because there is two sections to this road. Put that in there. It's going through the 40. You can kind of see it there. It's very, very light at the moment, at this moment in time. You can see here, I'm going to put it in light and I'll continue it on over there very lightly. Okay, so that's the top half of the road, kind of done there. Now what we're going to do is plot the points for the bottom half. So once again, the 15 goes through the 15 here. So that gives me a point right there. Likewise with the 20. 25, 30, yeah, then I've got the 35, and finally the 40, then we're on to the 35 again, 30, uh, this one is the 25, yep, yeah. and 25 would have continued on, but I know I'm fairly sure I don't need that, this one is the 20, and I've got another 20 mark here as well, okay, so same concept, I'm going to sketch that in lightly right now. Yeah, continue it over here. As far as there. And that would continue on. I will put it in. So I'm just going to extend out the 25 line. You can see it would have met down here. Now, at this point, you can see that's way over there in this part of the road. So I'm not going to put actually I'm not going to put that one in. Okay. So now we've done it essentially for this portion of the road going from A to B. Now what we need to do it is the exact same, and we just have to do it from B to C as well. And in the B to C section, I can see here I've got the 20, 25, I've got the 30, and then this one is the 35 contour. Okay. So measuring down in five millimeters. This one's a lot easier to measure down with because it's just straight down. So that'll be 20, 25, 30, and the 35 is all I'm going to need there. So remember, road is level at 15. So there's my 15. This one's my 20, 25, 30, and 35. And it's going to be the exact same going upwards. So I'm going to need 40, 35, 30, and 25 by the looks of it. Okay, so I do need to go up all the way. So that's 15, that's 20, sorry, 20, 25, 
30, 35 and 40. So I put all of those in. What am I doing? I can use my T square here. This is parallel with the road from B to C. So that's my 20 there. I'll continue that on. Then I've got the 25. Then I've got the 30. Yeah. And then I don't think I need the 35. No, I don't actually in this case. Just put it in for now, but I don't need it. And then the exact same up here. So I've got the 15. Don't think I'm going to need that. Don't think I'm going to need the 20. I do need the 25. Yes, I do need the 25. I do need the 30 and I do need the 40. Okay, so I'll write those in again, sorry. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40. So it's like kind of we're combining two questions here now, okay? So I'll start with the bottom half of the road. So for 15, is there any kind of 15 contour close by? No, there's not. For the 20, is there a 20 contour? Yes, there is. We can see it here, the 20 contour there. So follow the 20 line over that I did. And I can see here that I've got a point here and I've got a point here. Okay. So, at those two points, that's my first two. Then at the 25, I'm going to follow it over. I've got a point here. And then at the 30, I've also, so follow that contour. There's the 30 up there. It follows down, it comes down, goes through our 30 here. And then the 35, we can see, is up here. So it goes off the page, so we don't need that one. So now I'm going to plot those points. You can see here I've got a point, a point, a point, and a point. So I'm going to sketch those in as I think they would appear. I do think it would go off something like that. Now, what you'll actually notice is, and this is what's important, okay, and we'll focus on the bottom half of the road before I do the top. So I've got all of this, I can heavy in that. So I'll heavy that in there now. As I'm going along from point to point, so I know I can heavy this bit in. Now, I'm getting almost to the point where you can see when I sketched in this part of it from B to C, you can see it kind of comes over here like this, and then the bit from A to B comes like this. And you can actually see where the two of them cross each other, okay? They kind of meet right around there. Now, at that point there, that's as far as I'm going to go from the A to B part, and it's also as far as I'm going to go from the B to C part. So you can see that point there where it kind of arced and then it's arcing back down again. Okay, and that's how you do that part. Okay, that's how you do it when the road changes direction. And what you do then, okay, because the road has changed direction, we're also going to see it in the profile. You're going to connect this point here to the corner of the road where it turns. Okay, and that's simply it. Nice and easy like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is the same for the top portion of the road. So the 20 contour, doesn't matter, it doesn't go through any 20s. Does the 25 one pass through? I think it will. So follow the 25 one across, we can see our 25 contour coming up here. Okay, and my 25 cut, I should say. Follow it across, follow it across. I should have actually put that in, I apologize. So follow the 25 across. You can see that one there. So 25 cuts through here. And you can see it's for cutting very close there as well. Okay. Uh, the 30 contour. So follow the 30. Does that pass through at any point? Yes, it does. Passes here. Okay. The 35. So follow the 35 around. It's going to pass through right there. And finally, the 40 passes through there. So you can see kind of the direction this one is going. So it's going from here. And I assume it's going to go up there. Something like that. So we'll put that in extremely lightly once again. And what we want is kind of same as down here. We want to see where they were going to kind of intersect one another. So the 40 down to the 35 to the 30. And it comes to the 25 here. And it kind of goes over like that to the 25 on the opposite side. So you can see here now, you, some people might ask, why does it not just go straight? Well, I was continuing in a downward direction. So it often will go down before we curve back up, okay? Because obviously you can see here it's working from 25 up to 30 again. 
But on the original one, we'll put that in heavy now. This is a little bit in this question. So I've gone up to my 40 here. Down. This was the original arc. Or sorry, profile. So as you can see, this is kind of the intersection point here of the two kind of profiles. That's the section, the cut profile from B to C. You can see it here. And the A to B one was going like this and it went in here and it went across like that. So you can see they're both intersecting here. So that point right there seems to be the common point between them. So at that there, that there is where I'm going to connect up to the corner of the road B again. So continue that one on up there. Okay, and at this point here, connect it down to B like that. Okay, and there we have it guys, that there is the cut section. The last little bit, once again you have to do your tadpoles. Remember, we're cutting away the land, so the ball is at the top and it rolls down. So, ball up here, ball up here, ball here, ball here, roll towards the road, roll towards the road, roll towards the road, roll towards the road, do the same here. So ball, 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 or tadpole, 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 because it looks like a tadpole with a little kind of end on it. Okay, and there you have it. Every one of them is rolling towards the road because the land is higher around it. Okay, so that's the second question done on that page there, guys. Hope you found that helpful. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move down to the question on the bottom left of the page, question three. Okay. Right folks, so in question 3 in this page, it says the map shows ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals, okay, so we can see the distance 65 to 70 to 75 and so forth, the gap between them is 5, so that's kind of like our little magic number, and our scale then is 1 is to 1000, so we'll quickly work that out again, so 1 millimeter on our sheet, OS, is to 1000 millimeters IR in reality okay and what we have to work up to the 1000 millimeters we need that to work up to 5 meters 1000 millimeters is 1 meter multiply it by 5 you get 5 meters so times 5 okay and that means 5000 millimeters in reality which is 5 meters is multiply this by 5 as well is equal to 5 millimeters on our sheet so that's kind of our magic number there okay and now what we have to work out is it says here ABC is the center line kind of like the last question of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 60 so level at 60 and then same thing here I'm just going to put L at 60 okay so level at 60 level at 60 all right and uh, what it says is using side slope because the land around it is larger or is higher than the road using side slopes of 1 in 1.5 for the cut ratio so our cut ratio is slightly different this time okay so our cut ratio is 1 in 1.5 so what that means using 5 meters okay sorry or 5 millimeters uh, as our sheet guide what that means is for every five millimeters <clears throat> I travel down, I'm going to travel out 7.5 because five times 1.5 is 7.5. So that's kind of our guide. So five millimeters down to 7.5 millimeters out. So if I was to put that in, and that's why I've drawn a little guide here. So this one is kind of the down, this one is the out. What that means is so for five millimeters in this case, sorry, I should say up in this case because that's a cut ratio. So it's going upwards, apologies. So for every five meters I travel up, I'm gonna travel out 7.5. So 7.5 out, so I'll go a little bit longer and I'll go a little bit shorter up. So you can see here it's a little bit longer than it is going up. So what we have done there is we have traveled out 7.5 and we have traveled up 5 and that will actually as we look down on top of it show us our first measurement out okay and that's going to work out for 65 okay now same thing if I was to double that over so you travel the same distance out another 7.5 only this time you have to add on another 5 
So you can see here, this triangle and this triangle are quite similar. Okay, so what we have done there now is we have traveled out another 7.5, but we have traveled up 10. Okay, and that works out because that's 15 out up 10, which works out with our ratio as well. If I was to multiply that by 10, 10 ones are 10, 10 by 1.5 is 15. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. And basically, we're cutting that land bit away. And what we're leaving behind is a gentle slope. Okay, just to make the area around it safe. So that's what we're going to have to do, guys. So our measurements that we're going to mark out is 7.5 millimeters, which is obviously a little bit more awkward uh, when we're using um, our set squares and so forth. Okay, so we can see here, I'm going to start off with the roadway from A to B once again. So I'm going to set it up. Uh, perpendicular so I can take a measurement off of it. So using this as my guide, I want to take a line, probably put it here. I want to mark a line down perpendicular like this and also I'm going to do it upwards and I'm going to do it from B here at this point there, about there. So it doesn't matter where you do it on the road as long as they're just perpendicular just to get accurate measurements. So I'm just looking down here. The road's at 60. I've got 65, 70, 75. So I think 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I think I'm only going to need about 3 of them going down. I'll do 4 just in case. So that's 65, 70, 75. Oh, sugar. Sorry, apologies. So that should have actually been, sorry guys, you can see here I've made a mistake already. I'm meant to be marking out 7.5, so apologies. So what you're going to do is go between the 7 and the 8, so make it a little bit longer. So there's 7.5, 7.5 plus 7.5 is 15, 22 and a half is the next one, and then 30. That's my bad guys, sorry about that. So I put those in. So parallel with the road AB, go out to the 7.5 that I marked. Then the next one, go to there. Then this one is going to be, so that would have been 60, 65, 70, 75. Goes up to about there. And I don't think I'm going to need the 80, so I'll leave that one out. So, putting those in, we know the road is at 60 here. At this point here, it's at 65. This one is at 70. And this one here is at 75. Okay, so I'll do the same going upwards on this side of the road. So, marking out in 7.5 millimeters as accurately as I possibly can. So you can see here I'm between the 7 and the 8 millimeter. So there we go. And I'll do the same again. And this time it actually works out 15. So I'll do the same again then. Mark out from this point another 7.5. And I'll do one more. So 15 again from there. Okay. Once again, parallel with the side of the road. So this one here is at 65. Just checking, yeah, I'm gonna need a mark there and there, so I'll put that one in, yeah. Next one's at 70, put that in. 75, going to need that. And that's as far as I think I'm going to need. So same concept here, 60 here. This one's at 65, this line. Just continue it on there. So I don't want to my measurements in the sheet. You always try and try and keep your measurements on the outside perimeter if you can. Just keeps it a little bit neater. So sorry, that should be 70. And then this should be 75. Okay, so let's plot our points from the part of the road from A to B and then we'll focus on B to C after. So at 60, is there any contour at 60 there? No, none down here. But then I have 65. So along this cut line here, I can see my 65 contour is this one. So I've got a point right there. And have I any other 65? Yes, I do. So I've also got a point here. Okay. Now I want to find any 70s. So I can see I have a 70 here. And then I've also got a 70 right here. And then finally, the 75 one. Got one right here. 
and we can see if we followed it, and I apologize, I actually have three 70s, because I have another 70 here. So you can see here, this is probably where it's going to meet again somewhere over here. Now I'll continue it on for the 75, so I've got a 75 there. Now I'll plot the points up in the top half of the road. So 60, there's no lines here at 60, so follow the contours. 65 is there once again. And is there any other 65? Yep, right here. Okay, now follow it up. Have I got 70s? Yes, I do. So I have a 70 there. You can see here I have a 70 here. I've got a 75 here. And if I had continued that on, especially my 70, you can see here also, if I continue that on, following this up, I've also got a 70 here. And I'd imagine then 75 would have gone somewhere up there like that. But that's gone off our sheet. Okay. So once again, sketch that in lightly starting off. Okay. I'd imagine I can heavy in a good portion of it heavy, but I always do it light first. So 75 to 70. And you can see here it almost kind of goes straight. So that was at the 65 into the 70 just kind of come over there like that and then here I'd imagine it's probably going to meet the road there's a 60 contour over here somewhere so I'm just gonna doesn't meet the road exactly but put this in lightly and then went down here to the 65 and then back up to the 70 something like that okay so that's the part of the road from A to B. Now what we're going to do is focus on the part of the road from B to C. So same thing, I can see here this is the 85, this is the 90 contour. So the 90 is not going to affect me. Is the 85 going to affect me? Maybe the 80 will, 75, 70, yeah, all the way down to 65. Okay, so we'll work that out. So measuring down in 7.5s, so that will be 65, 70, 75, 80 and down to 85 which is about there okay so just marking those roads at 60 so here's 65 70 75 80 and 85 and do the same going upwards so marking up in 7.5s 7.5 and then the next one I could mark is 15 I think that's as high as I can go so 60, 65, and 70. Okay. So in doing that, I keep doing the sliding set squares, but I can just use my T square. So is there any 65 contour? Yeah, there is over here. Is it going to meet it? Just about. So it's going to meet it there. Then we've got the 70 contour. I'd imagine that's this one. We have the 75 contour. So I'm trying to keep it neat and tidy. The 80. And then finally the 85. So you can see with the 85, it comes down to here and it actually goes off the sheet. So if I was to continue that on, just to give me a guide, okay, you can kind of see it there. Now I'll do the same at the top, the 60. So is there any 61 meeting it? No. Sorry, the 65, I should have said. So 65 is all the way over here. Okay, so we'll bring that over might help us point over there and then the 70 yeah there is a point up here okay and that's as much as we can do okay so let's plot our points so for the 60 there's none 60 but 65 follow the contour over you can see it actually meets it right in here for the 70 it's going to meet it here for the 75 it's going to meet it here and for the 80 here and then the 85 was somewhere about there okay kind of gone off our sheet but that will give us a guide so sketch that in lightly once again so I'm going to start it over here this time just to give me a guide and just so I don't get confused yeah it's this point here and once again you can actually see where the two kind of cut sections are meeting okay so I've kind of got a line here and they're meeting right in here so that's where I'm going to actually put in my kind of meet point okay 
okay, where the two of them join together based on because obviously the road is turning. So at that point there, I would heavy up as far as here and into this point right there. And then do the same going down. Usually when you're doing this, you try and do it as one continuous line. At the point where they met, what you're going to do, connect that to the corner there of B, okay? And that's the bottom half of the road. Now what we're going to do is the top half. So the 65, yeah, if you followed the contour over here, so there's my 65 contour meeting it. And then I also have the 71, which is up here, which is meeting the 70. Should continue that on just a touch further. So there's the 70 contour. And I'd imagine then the 75 would have gone up here, something like that. So if I had it done, just to give me a guide and did a distance, it wouldn't somewhere up there. Just to give me a guide, you can see. And what I'm, I would do then is sketch this to this, and that would have continued on maybe up there. And what we can actually see is, so when we did the original one, it went up like this, up to here. And where this one did, you can see they met right there at that point, just inside it. So that's kind of my junction point. And what I would do then is I would heavy in this portion there like that, and then heavy in this bit. And as I said, try and do a one continuous line, okay? So I should be doing it. And there we have it, okay? Uh, so you can see that one there has kind of gone off the sheet, okay? Up there, and that's the direction it was going. So now just to finish the question, what we're going to do is put in our tadpoles. So a ball, okay, at the top of the hill, rolling towards the road. And this side you do the off side. Okay, so there you have it. That there, guys, is question three on that page, okay? So finally, we're going to move on now to question four at the bottom right, okay? Right, folks, so the last question on this page, okay, uh, we can see here it says uh, the map shows ground contours at five meter vertical intervals. Our scale is one is to a thousand. So with that, what we're going to do is work out kind of our magic number. So one millimeter on our sheet, OS, is to 1000 millimeters in reality, IR, okay? And the distance between our contours 60 to 55 to 50 is five meters, so we need to multiply this to make up five meters. 1000 millimeters is one meter, multiply it by five, you get 5000 millimeters, which is five meters, okay? So that's in reality, but if we multiply this by five, we also multiply this by five. So that's five, millimeters so that's on our sheet that's kind of our magic number okay it says then um a b is the center line of a proposed roadway which is level at an altitude of 45 meters so level at 45 meters so i put that in here i just do l at 45 if you wanted like that and as we can see the roadway in this case guys uh, rather than a sharp turn that we had in previous questions, you can see here basically it goes down like this and it curves, okay? And you can see obviously then we got the rotational point of that curve there, okay? And it says here using side slopes of one in one for cuts, so our cut ratio is a bit easier again this time in comparison to the other question. Our cut ratio is one in one. So what that means basically is it's for every five millimeters I travel up, okay? Um, I'm also going to try to travel five millimeters out, okay, for my triangle. So think of your triangle here. For every five millimeters I travel out from the road, so the road is there, okay, I'm also going to travel five millimeters up. And what that equates in reality is five meters out, five meters up, okay? So we're going to use that to guide us. So 
in relation to using a curve, we'll get onto that. So starting off, I'm going to start off on this portion of the road and this portion of the road. So the north half and the south half, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is we need to set up a perpendicular line to our road to get our measurements. So using the road, I'm going to set up a perpendicular line by simply doing this. Just give me a guide and I'll also do it going off the sheet something I'll actually do it from somewhere in here okay so five millimeters I measure up so just thinking here the road is at 45 so mark that there 45 and 45 okay and what I want to do is I can see here it goes up to 60 55 50 what's this one just looking over here so that's 45 so it goes up to 70 but that's more in the south half of the road 65 won't hit it I don't think so maybe on this side or just up here I think I'm gonna to have to go up to about 60 okay so measure up five millimeters because that's our magic number we worked out okay and our ratio is five okay so that's what we're doing that distance there out so five millimeters out that'll bring us to 50 55 60 and I don't think the 65 is going to meet it okay so I'm fairly confident in that one so I'm going to do parallel lines to the side of the road this will be at the 50 okay just making sure it won't meet there anywhere this will be at the 55 Let's put them in now you don't need to put these in the whole way if you follow your contours you can see the 55 is going to meet right there but I'll just put them in I like to plot my points after so 50 55 and 60 so if I was to plot those points okay so on the 60 cut line I can see the 60 contour where they meet got a point there the exact same with the 55 the exact same with the 50 and I'm going to assume then follow the 45 over here comes around so it meets at the road there then we have the 50 so it's going back up then the next one is the 55 so you can see here I did actually have to continue it and then finally the 60 so it's neat at the 60 there and what's important actually I should have continued that on because it's also meeting the 60 here now because we're starting to curve I could have continued on the 55 and it probably would have met in there like that okay but because we're into the curve part of the road I don't think I'm going to need that okay so I'll put that in lightly now doesn't really matter when you do it you can plot the points and put it in so you can see that bit there put that in lightly for the moment and I'm going to put in this very lightly as well so it's kind of coming over like that I'd imagine okay that's as far as I'm going there with that portion now I'm going to do it here on the bottom portion so same concept measure out in five millimeters so this will be at the 50 55 60 65 okay so parallel with the side of the road A to B and this part portion of the road I should say so that's at the 50 I'm just thinking here 50 falling it over out to there I think yep yeah. then this is going to be the 55 just looking here out to there next one's going to be at the 60 so to there I think then out the 65 yep that will meet it definitely 100% okay and finally should have actually put in this one I should need another one I need another one because I have to go up to the 70 and by the looks of it it looks like it's going to meet it just about staying on our page so writing those in so 45 at the side of the road then 50 55 60 65 and 70 so let's plot our points so on the 51 I've got a point right here and I can see here the 55 one comes down so it would have met you can see it here it's very close but it's just gone off our sheet but it's about there okay so that's close enough put that in just to give me a guide there okay um, 
then I've obviously got this one here I think is the 45 so if you follow it over kind of like on the opposite side it's going to meet here so that's this bit I know I can probably heavy in that bit there like I could have heavied in this bit up here on top so I'll actually put it in now so heavy in that bit I could have done it with this one as well up here okay because where it comes to the road it's not going to change so heavy in that portion now I'll plot in the rest of the points so uh, the next one is the 50 as well, so I'm going to assume this is the 50, but follow it around just to be sure. Yep, so there's the 50. And then, going to, obviously, this one I'd imagine is the 55, but follow it around just to be sure. Which I'd imagine this one is the 60. Yes, then we want to find the 65, which is here. And then finally, the 70, which is here. So you can see there, I'm going to continue that down. Okay. And that's the bottom half of the road before it starts to starts to curve. So we'll leave that light for now, and we'll obviously leave this light. And what we're actually going to focus on next, okay, before we do this portion of the road up here, we're actually going to start on this kind of curved bit here. So for the curve bit, you do the exact same thing. We're going to measure out in five millimeter distances. Only this time we'll use an arc to help us. So at this point on the road here, it's at 45. So every five millimeters, I'm going to mark up about 20, and I'll just do it in increments of five. So that'll be at 50. This will be at 55, 60, 65, and I'll go one more. Don't think I need to. No, 65 is far enough. Okay. So. I actually should have done it maybe here. I think this would have been a bit neater. So 50, 55, 60. I think actually that's as much as I need. Okay, so I'll put those in. So I've got 50, 55, and I've also got 60. Okay, and what we're actually going to do now is plot those points. So using your compass, and with the rotational point, Okay, you're going to mark it onto the 50, one here, and we're going to do an arc. Nice and easy. Then the next one is the 55 arc. And then the next one, the 60. Okay, once again, we'll plot our points. So 45 doesn't meet on the road. Remember, the road is level at a point of, or at a height of 45. So that actually there is a cut point on the road as well, kind of like what we had over here. Now I want to find the 50. So follow the 50 contour, and it cuts through the 50 arc right here. Same with the 55. Follow it up, cuts through there. And does the 60 contour go through it? Follow it up. Yes, it does right there. Okay, so you can see here we're getting to the right kind of point now. And the 65, just want to see, would it have gone through? No, it wouldn't have. Okay, so at this point here, you can see here this is kind of the direction. Okay, so I want to follow that down. And that's kind of how it would meet the road there. So you can see here it nearly continued into it, okay? So on this one, we're not really going to kind of have uh, that kind of juncture, okay? So at this point now, I know I can start to heavy in. this bit here okay there's no sharp edge these two points are almost converging on each other they probably are meant to just maybe my accuracy is a little bit out okay so that's that bit and then finally I would also have to do it on the opposite side of the road as well because it obviously curves on the opposite side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that line just thinking here I'll extend this one down actually which I think would probably be better and what I'm also going to do then is measure out once again in five millimeter increments. So this would be 50, 55, 60, 65, and 17. You can see 70s are last mark there. So putting those measurements, remember 45 at the road, side of the road. Then we had 50, 55. You don't have to put these in if you can follow it yourself. But it is helpful. And once again, plot that around so 55 I can see where it's going to meet sorry I should say 50 it's going to hit it over here 
same with the 55 so if you wanted to be neat and tidy follow the contour and you could just make a mark at it like that okay uh, then the 60 65 I should do it both ways apologies I should have done the same with the 60 and the 55 that's silly of me And then finally the 50. I don't know, there's a 50 over there somewhere maybe. And finally 70. Okay. So let's plot those points. So the 50 hit here. We can see the 45 was over here. The 50. Then I've got the 55. Then I've got the 60 contour. Then I've got the 65. Then I have the 70. You can see the 70 arc came over here as well. And this is where I should have continued it on. So at the 65, should have probably continued it on out here. And follow the 65 up and around. So there's my 65. As you can see here, we will have actually a converging point here. So I was happy I didn't actually head the end that bit. And I'm going to have to do the same with the 60. So follow the 60 contour follow it down it's hitting right there as you can see here they're both kind of matching up so that's almost our convergence point and then the 55 followed around so follow the 55 around okay so there and it's gone into itself so we go with the top half of the road and then the 50 it's into there okay so just to show you here if you look at the original kind of sketch that I did in there like that and I follow the other points so this one's going to come down here lightly follows there goes into the 70 mark here because that's on the 70 arc and it's going to go around in there and you can see it's a little bit lower than the profile that we already have so here follow it over and what you can see is at this point here on the 61 and the original one over here they actually met at that point so at that point there that's kind of our convergence point there and it would have gone like this and this okay so you can see you kind of have an arc inside the other so what we do at that point then is we're going to take this portion here and follow that guide okay because obviously it starts here so we need to continue it on from there so we want to follow that one then and then at this point here we're going to take over with this portion of the road where it curls okay or where it curves inwards it's almost like we've kind of joined them so the bit that we don't need is this bit that was extended on here okay now if you made that mistake it wouldn't cost you really in an exam not too much anyway okay your method is right okay so you can see here it's getting a little bit trickier in these questions so we've got that curved bit of the road done now we have to finally just do the bit the extension of the road from here onwards okay so once again i have to measure out a perpendicular line so using just a little bit of sliding set squares here just to have measurements done i'll actually use these ones didn't even think of that is that uh, it's now 100% perpendicular so do a line like this and what I'm going to do is measure out and just look in here that's at the 45 this is 50 55 back to 50 so I only need two on this side as far as I can tell 50 and 55 and on the opposite side I need so it's 50 55 again yeah so measuring out now they're pretty close anyway yeah probably get away with them okay so they're the ones I need so parallel to the side of the road so that's the 51 then I've got the 55 and that's all I need and the same down here I put in the measurements after or the increments I should say so this one here was at the 45 and this was at the 45 so then we had the 50 and the 55 so look 50 55 and 
the 50 one goes through the contour so follow it down there's our 50 contour and then the 55 over to here and then it's the same on the opposite side so look 50 goes through here and then the 55 here and then it goes back down to 50 now imagine we might have another 45 over there so it's going to go up to come down but we don't know does it meet it so I'm going to continue on I'm not going to meet it at the road because we don't know where the other, if it's a 45 contour <clears throat> but it is going down so I'd assume it will continue to go down and then this one might go something like that okay so there you have it that's the question complete there and finally the last little bit as always put your little tadpoles for cuts little tadpoles are going to or the balls as they say sometimes look like tadpoles but they're going to roll towards the road probably do a better job than I'm doing here mine look terrible so roll towards the road I always struggle with them kind of going upwards and then finally like that okay so there you have it guys uh, that there is doing cuts okay in comparison to a previous video where we did fills okay a little bit in that um, kind of that's kind of getting almost kind of more of the higher level stuff okay the roads are all still have a level height okay the really higher level stuff would have uh, roads that maybe have an incline and things like that but especially when they start to put kind of um, curves and bends in roads and things like that it does get a little bit more difficult okay so there's a bit of work in those guys all right uh, once again guys hope you found that helpful that's the questions complete there okay